City against Ipswich Town in the first round of the League Cup. Well, we're underway, Exeter City kicking from left to right. Martin is free on the right hand side, low ball into the middle towards Jay and it's a little bit too heavy for him, he couldn't quite stretch out enough to get a decent connection on the ball. Into the feet of Jake Taylor, it's a good tackle though from Teo Uden who then gets clipped by Jake Taylor, skips away from another challenge from Jordan Tilson and frees Caden Jackson down the left-hand side. He's free to run towards the byline, cuts inside the penalty area, low ball into the middle, and Christy Pym cannot keep that out, and it's gone into the back of the net, and Ipswich Town have the lead, 37 minutes gone, it's Exeter City nil, Ipswich Town won. Right-footed in, swinging towards a back post. Pierce Sweeney, it's Aaron Martin, completely free. He mistimed his jump a little bit, and there is the half-time whistle. The Grecians with a big chance at the end of this first 45. As Ips was trying to get us underway, or get us going in this second 45, kicking from left to right towards the big bank. And here come the changes. Tristan Abrahams and uh, RG Collins. Collins coming on for Matt Jay. And Jake Stockley is going to be replaced by Tristan Abrahams. So a like like swap up front. Boatek sliding in to win the ball back and Collins skips past the challenge of Chambers and then shoots deflected and it hits the side netting. Great work for the 18-year-old. Jack Sparks, another academy graduate coming on for his first game of the season. He's going to replace Hiram Boateng for the final 30. Sparks will take it low into the middle. It's flicked on at the near post up in the end. Brown nods the ball into the back of the net. And just like that, Exeter City are level. We've played 65 minutes. It's the former Ipswich man who's done it. It's Exeter City 1, Ipswich Town 1. Yeah, they deserved it. They deserved it from their play. I think you call that free kick a good baden. There's no way on this planet that he meant to slap it in across the floor. But it's caught everybody out, it's caught the goalkeeper out, and that's a poacher's finish from a centre-half. So, uh, as I said, they've deserved that. They've got on the front foot, they've got in the faces, they've made it difficult, and, uh, and it's going to be a really, really good 25 minutes now to finish this game. And I've got to say, I kind of fancy Exeter right now. Well, the way that they've been playing the last few minutes, you wouldn't get too many people disagreeing with you there, Kevin Nicholson. City if they work this well. Abraham's in the penalty and left on his strike. That's a good save by Bielkowski because the referee's blown his final whistle and we've got penalties here at St James Park. I think there's a lot of credit to, to Exeter to come back from a goal down. I think, as we were saying at the start of the game now, no matter what happens with these penalties now, they've, they've put on a good account of themselves and it, they'll take confidence into the next game, which I'm sure Matt Taylor is really, that was his big thing for tonight. Stopper, slow run up, hits it to his left hand side, and it's saved by Christy Pym. And what a start to the penalty shootout we've had here! And he scores! <laughs> right 
footed, calm as you like, to Christy Pim's left hand side. Runs up and finds the top corner. It's a fine penalty from the number 19. Slow run up and again sends Christy Pim the wrong way. 18 year old Archie Collins. Right. Drills it down the middle. Trevor Chalabar then, it's a chance yeah. fourth, right footed, and he's put it wide. And Lee Martin has a chance to win it for Exeter City, right footed, scores! Yeah. High to the left hand side, he sends Bielkowski the wrong way. It's not too much of a celebration from the players. They think job done, but we've got an upset here because Ipswich Town have been knocked out of the League Cup, Kevin Nicholson, by Exeter City on penalties. Yeah, after the first one, Fishy Pim done what he needed to do. One miss, the rest of the penalties were a really, really good standard. It's, it's, I think they probably deserve it. They, they've come out, they've forced the issue in the second half. You know, the game was was so so, but good quality penalties, fair play to them. Be in the hat, and you're always excited to see who you're going to get next. It's only the second time in five years that Exeter City have managed to make it past this stage. They did play Liverpool back uh, a few years ago, I think it was 2011. They played Premier League opposition in Hull a couple of seasons ago. It's the rewards you get for winning.